WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. One o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this uh, Friday, the 6th of October. Basil Chapman here. Uh, Dow's up 232 points. Uh, let's see, three hours ago, two hours ago, couldn't have said that. It was actually down very sharply. In fact, the Dow hit a low this morning of 32,846. And here it is at 500 points high, 33,357. That was a nice turnaround and very timely because this is exactly the day that you get your match. I'll talk about it in the show that's coming up. This will be, I'll be doing Larry Pesavento's uh, hour. Uh, he just needs another day to uh, recuperate fully. And now what we're looking at is that the S&P, there we go. The S&P, a uh, very strong candle, up 39 at 42.97. This is really, it was very important. The further away it can push a, 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 away from this 200-period exponential, this yellow line, orangey line, at 42.67, it's 30 points higher right now, the better it is. By Tuesday, it really has to be up in the 43, uh, 20 to 30 area and holding very steadily. Looking at the QQQ, this is the index 100. Very nice move up a leg, gray leg B, because the, the stochastic is still only 32%. MACD hasn't yet turned positive, it's close, but it hasn't done it. But this is what I call a gray leg B, and it's a very nice move to the upside. And it's incorporating the SMHs, that's the semiconductors, and it's incorporating other, other areas within the, the technical technology area. So this is very important that it moves higher. And it sort of saved the day on Friday with a weekly close with the nine period moving average did not close underneath the 14. That's good. Let's go to the IWM. IWM, someone asked me um, about this uh, big takeoff in IWM. It's gonna, it's a lagging, it's lagging at this particular point. It's doing nicely today up 167. If by Tuesday or Wednesday, it can actually touch 176 to 177, that'll be what you want to see. Let's look at gold. Gold is turning up a little bit here. It's up 12. Not a big move because the dollar is still active. So the dollar's up 12 at 1844. If you look at the dollar, look at this. On the left side chart, that's the dollar. Made a peak E, pulling back, but that nine is still way above the 14. Watching this very closely. TLT, that's bonds, did turn around from the low of the day, but it's still down 70 uh, cents. And crude oil, I'll be back in a moment for uh, Larry Pesarento to see a uh, trade what you see show. Um, I'm pulling in, and uh, yeah, crude oil is up 34 cents. Thousand traffic. Be back in a moment. Check out my opening call.